So, Vinyl Community, are you bluish? Do you feel obliterated after your New Year celebrations? <laughs> All right, I won't be silly. Hi, this is a serious video, folks, about a serious topic. Now, you might be saying from all the decorations around me here, I've got my yellow submarine lunchbox. I redid my little area here for you. I've got my uh, Beatles six-inch, uh, are they the McFarlane characters? I've got a coloring book, a yellow submarine notebook back here. Here's the actual yellow submarine from McFarlane. I've got a yellow submarine uh, lava lamp official over there with the sea of holes, if you can see it. I've got an apple bonker. I have the glovey with love. I've got the pups from uh, Hey Bulldog. There's love, glovey. All right, so I'm a fan. I am a fan of this. Despite what the title says, despite what I'm going to be talking about today, I is Jeremy. Good old Jeremy. All right. Despite what everyone may think by the title of this, and I've got my stuffed beetle guys back there, my beetle dollies, and here's, a, here's the chief blue meanie. Put him down over here for a minute. Here's the yellow submarine plush, plushy. This is hard to get now, by the way. I don't think you can get it. You might be able to, but I don't think they sell it at the fest anymore. So I've got my yellow submarine water bottle and my yellow submarine lights. You can't see them, but you always see them in other videos. They're still up there. And I know I'm not centered in the video, but I want you to see all this stuff and understand that I am a fan. I am a big fan of yellow submarine. It goes back to my childhood when I was a little kid, six or seven. And my parents not only took me to help back in 65, but later on, three years later, they took me to see yellow submarine and I loved it. As a little kid, it's, um, let's face it, we all hail it as a cinematic classic. It was advanced for its time in animation. The animation was considered groundbreaking. The way, uh, yeah, I couldn't even describe what type of animation it is. I wanted this to be off the cuff, so I didn't want to go do research and explain every little nuance of the Yellow Submarine movie. But as a fan, the uh, animation was off the charts back then. It was it was new, it was different, it was exciting. And you take that cool animation, you take a great little story about good versus evil, all right? You take some cool merchandising. <laughs> Here you go, there's my yellow submarine wool hat. You take some cool merchandising like this stuff, and you put it all together. And, and rather than show the DVD, which I have upstairs, uh, I'm going to show my old video from 1999. Old video cassette of Yellow Submarine. Nice yellow plastic. I love this little thing. Uh, but you take the merchandising, you take the filmmaking, you take the animation, you take the beautiful songs uh, that the Beatles uh, allowed for the soundtrack and put on the soundtrack. Um, and if you really want to hear all the songs, you want to get the song track, the remixed song track from several years ago. That's the one to get. I mean, the uh, the actual album itself, which I have a copy of my original Apple copy back here on display. The album is great. I love the album. I know some people put it on their least favorite Beatles album in Joe's recent contest, but I don't consider it my least favorite Beatles album. I love the Beatles songs on there. I think they're all fantastic. And I love George Martin's instrumental pieces. I just love what he did with those. Um, I enjoy them, I do listen to them, and I think they're great. Uh, so I, as I say, I'm a first generation fan. I saw this film when it first came out. I was taken to the movies, I saw it, I loved it as a kid, and I loved it later on as an older child. I'd be excited every, uh, maybe once, twice a year, our local uh, UHF channel would have like a little Beatles marathon, so to speak. They would take Yellow Submarine and Help, usually those two. I don't remember Hard Day's Night or Let It Be, but it was always Help and Yellow Submarine and a double feature. They would show on a Saturday, maybe once, twice a year, and I was so excited about it. I remember as a kid taking my little early 1970 or 71 cassette player with a blank cassette. Uh, my parents had given me one Christmas, and I actually taped the two movies off a UHF channel on my little TV. Uh, I was so excited, and I thought that was a big deal to have them on tape. So if I wanted to listen to the audio 
of the two movies, Help and Yellow Submarine. I could at any time, and, and I thought that was great. <laughs> and now look at with technology today and how we can have these movies at our fingertips and on demand or you know, back in the old days on a VHS, which was a big deal. And this isn't the original VHS, by the way. I have that buried somewhere, but this is a later edition. And then DVD and then Blu-ray, and, and now you can get it in all kinds of formats. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. And in a sense, it's 2018. So this is kind of my tribute to it because me, Matt, I do love Yellow Submarine. I grew up on it and I think it's a classic. So congrats to Yellow Submarine on hitting 50 years, 50 years since the release of Yellow Submarine. It's just unbelievable. 1968. Uh, and again, I, I know uh, some of the releases were early 69 on, on like the album and whatnot, but I'm talking the actual film. When the film came out, um, it was a big deal for me back in 68 when that premiered. Anyway, so I'm celebrating that 50th being 68. Okay, but it, it wasn't really a celebration video from me in the sense that I've had some concerns lately. And, and as you can see in my title of this film, is I'm really concerned has... Yellow Submarine, the film, not not the album, not the music, not the cool merchandising and stuff that's come out over the years. Has the film become obsolete? This is my concern. This is Matt's concern that this film is now dated, obsolete. You might be saying, Matt, what are you crazy? It's it's it's, it's a classic. It's, it's cinematic classic. It's uh, animation ahead of its time, blah, 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 great music, great everything. What are you talking about? It's, it's, it's obsolete. Well, I never would have thought so, folks. I never would have thought I'd even be making a video even questioning this until the last year or so. Um, I've had a couple of incidents. I'll explain two of them. There's been several, but I don't want to make this too long. But there's been a, several incidents over the last couple of years for me, and definitely during the last year, which I'll tell you about two of them, where I'm starting to think that my view of this is kind of skewed, kind of um, one-sided, so to speak, kind of tainted, because I grew up on this. I loved it so much as a child. I, I, it's, it's been, you know, just part of my life that this has always been thought to be a cinematic classic, an animated classic, uh, that I just took it for granted, I guess, that it is. And it would be forever and for everybody. Well, I think I'm a little bit wrong on that, in the sense that, and please, this is just me talking. I personally, Matt, still love it. will always cherish it for what it is and what it was. But um, I've had a couple of things happen over the last year or so, and several over the years, but really hit home the last year or so that this film may not be holding up too well. And I'll tell you why, and I want to see what you think about it. I, I just always thought it was great. And then... Uh, about a year ago, I had an opportunity, and I wasn't forcing anybody. Don't get me, I didn't tie people up and force them to watch it or anything like that, so don't get the wrong idea. But I had an opportunity where I was with a group of kids. Um, it was a real positive thing. It was some, a family, my wife and I were helping out uh, with, with having some tough times. And anyway, so we had brought some stuff over and some. Uh, for the kids and some food and stuff. We had a little dinner together and, and whatnot. Anyway, that's another story, but always nice to help people when they're in need. But anyway, one of the things uh, I did is I had some uh, extra yellow submarine pencils and I had some pencil cases and pencil, uh, you know, we could put a pencil and eraser or, or a yellow submarine ruler. And I had some of these kits with me that I really wasn't doing anything with them. And they were fairly new. They've been released within the last 10 years or so. So I made little yellow submarine packages for each of the kids to give them along with the other stuff we were doing. And the kids seemed thrilled when I gave it to them. You know, I had the cool imagery, it had the yellow submarine and the pencil, it had yellow, were like blue with yellow submarine logo on them, erasers, stuff for school, notepads. I think I even gave a couple of the younger ones a couple of the coloring books back there. And they were thrilled. Oh, stickers, some yellow submarine stickers I gave them. They were, seemed all excited about it, even though they had, you know, these were young kids. They were ranging in between the ages of like 11 down to like 7. And, uh, you know, maybe four of them, three or four of them. And um, anyway, they were so thrilled. And I was like, wow, that's cool. And so I said to them, I said, hey, sometime would you like to do a movie night? 
I'll bring over the movie so you understand more about it. And um, I'll have some popcorn and watch the movie. And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 that'd be great. That'd be great. You know, kids, they're just happy. You give them a little bit of a fun time or the chance for a fun time, and they jump at it. Well, I did. I, I went on. I'll put this down here while, while I talk to you. Right there, there's a movie. Uh, I did. I went over, my wife and I, a couple of weeks later, some popcorn and some snacks and put on Yellow Submarine and... Uh, you know, the TV screen was medium size, so it wasn't like the full, ooh, you know, and like big giant 4K or something. But still, I really thought it would go over well. I really thought it was going to hit them and, and they'd really love it and, and think, wow, that's a great movie, you know, just like I did or like I thought it still was. And I have to tell you, folks, it didn't go over as well as I thought. Uh, maybe it's with the new movies today in the last 20, 25 years with the technology and the, and the uh, you know, special effects that can be done through computer animation and, and computer effects. And, you know, look at some of the, I mean, look at like some of the new movies that have come out with the, and how they can make things come to life that look so real. They can, they can even animate people now. Uh, and make them look like real human beings on the screen with such great computer technology and, and, and high-tech uh, wizardry that they have in the film uh, world now. And so maybe these kids, you know, kids today, younger people who didn't grow up on this stuff that are like, you know, under the age of 30 or maybe under the age of 40, just don't get it because the kids were polite. They sat through the whole hour and 30 minutes or whatever length the movie is, but... And they did it. I think they did it for me because, you know, I had given them the, the presents and we brought popcorn and made a movie night. So they were just excited to have a movie night and, and fun. But um, they really didn't take to the film. I have to be honest with you. I mean, uh, you know, a couple of the kids asked me a couple of questions about the good versus evil and the blue meanies and they were the bad guys and, you know, all that stuff. And they were, I, I kept trying to get them a little bit excited that the real Beatles were coming up at the end for a few minutes and they would get to see the real Beatles. And so a couple of them were excited about that and wanted to, you know, me to tell them when that was coming. And it came up and they watched it. And I, I just have to admit it was kind of underwhelming. I, I just thought that, you know, kids, young kids, seven up to 11, would, like I was when I was that young kid all those 50 years ago, that I would have, that they would have gotten into this film, into the Yellow Submarine, and they were like, eh, you know, it was okay, uh, but, you know, it was some scenes that were colorful and seemed to pique their attention, and others seemed, quite frankly, boring to them. I could tell by the looks on their faces they were bored, uh, that it wasn't exciting them, and that the animation was kind of antiquated compared to some of the newer animation and movies and film today. So it disappointed me a little bit. I have to admit, I was disappointed. Um, I came away from it thinking, wow, I, I really thought I was, you know, like showing them a movie that was going to blow their minds, that they were going to go, wow, you know, this is Yellow Submarine, what you've been talking about. This is great, you know. And as I say, they were polite. They weren't mean about it. They didn't, you know, pick on the film or anything, but you could just tell, you know, they were like, oh, yeah, okay. Next, <laughs> next movie, <laughs> they, they really weren't that too pumped up about it. So I thought, ah, maybe I just hit a bad crowd. Maybe just they just weren't, you know, the screen was too small and they couldn't, you know, get into the full effect of it. But then it hit me again uh, a little while ago when a couple of people in my life that I'm acquainted with who are in their late 20s, so these are older people. These are people that, you know, have some experience in their life and know the Beatles and know of the Beatles. And in one case, one of the people was fans of the Beatles. And uh, we did a, a kind of a movie night again, just a movie night type thing. And I don't want to get into who exactly they were and all that because I don't want to, you know, uh, skew this at all. I just want to say they were people in their late 20s. Uh, there was a couple of them. And um, I, uh, we were going to do a movie night one night. So they said, well, what do you have? What do you got there? So, I, you know, I opened up my movies, all the different things I had. I mean, everything you can think of, you know, all the popular stuff over the years. And uh, so we got it down to a few. I think we had it down to Rudy, Monty Python, and the Holy Grail. Uh, what was the other one? I can't remember, but definitely Rudy, Monty Python, and the Holy Grail. Um, a Forrest Gump. And there was one other one. Might have been one of the Back to the Future movies or something like that. And Yellow Submarine. 
So it was like a group of five or six movies like that. And Yellow Submarine happened to be one of them because I was talking it up so much. I said, oh, this is Yellow Submarine. It's a cinema classic. Came out almost 50 years ago. And uh, it's just a great movie. And, you know, when I was a kid, this was a big deal. And all the merchandising. And now there's new merchandising. And, oh, it's a great movie. And the Beatles music. Oh, you know the Beatles music. It's fantastic. And so... Uh, it ended up, I talked them into it. They said, yeah, all right, let's see a screening of Yellow Submarine. Let's check it all out and see what all the rage is about the movie. I said, oh, cool, great, all right, I'll put on the surround. And, we'll, you know, I have a pretty good-sized TV, not the biggest in the world, but it's for, for a movie like this, I think it's sufficient. And I put it in, and uh, I think all I have to tell you is after about uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so, we uh, switched over to Monty Python and the Holy Grail and had a good laugh. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't go as well as I thought, folks. And again, I was bummed out. I was disappointed. Uh, they didn't seem to latch on to it. And these are people now in their late 20s. Again, you know, you could say, well, it's the crowd. You know, I know people in their late 20s are kids that love Yellow Submarine. And I'm sure that's true. I'm sure there's people out there that would love it. But my question is, is that has the movie seen its better days as far as Yes, it's still a classic. It's still great. The music's great. It's the Beatles. It is ahead of its time, or it was ahead of its time back then for the animation and the uh, the storytelling and all that. But has it seen its better day? Has it run, it run its course a little bit? And is it somewhat obsolete now in the sense that does it need an upgrade? Does it need to be remade? Um, you know, with today's technology, with the animation ability of animation, you could basically take... I mean, let's face it, the Beatles didn't use their own voices in the film. Uh, they were just in that little clip at the end. You could technically, with today's technology, make a really adventurous, stunning-looking, uh, with the today's animation, new version of Yellow Submarine, staying with the same script and same idea and concept and everything, but with new animation, with new sound effects, uh, you know, new voices, new people's doing the voices, and you could even still clean up that little clip of the Beatles at the end and tag it on the end of a new remake of Yellow Submarine. I don't know. I, I think it could work, and I think it could, if it was upgraded with new technology and 50 years later, half a century later, maybe it does need a little bit of an upgrade or a, uh, a new uh, release, a new newly made film. Or, because uh, I don't know if you can really want to say you can touch up the old film. You really don't want to mess with this old film. You really don't want to, uh, you know, take take such a classic. It would be like taking Hard Day's Night and changing scenes in it and all that or adding uh, animation to it or something. It just wouldn't work. But I think the same with this. This is an original. This is a classic. And it probably should stay this way forever. It's a cinema giant, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm talking a remake, an upgrade. Uh, of Yellow Submarine. I really am starting to think that maybe the old film, it's seen its better days. It's, um, you know, it's and it doesn't mean it's not a classic. It still is. I still watch old Three Stooges and, and laugh my head off, you know, and they were made in the 30s and 40s and black and white and, and there was zero animation, uh, uh, high-tech, uh, uh, you know, like industrial light and magic and all that computer generate stuff. There was none of that back then. They just made a funny film, and uh, I still crack up every time I see those old films that are, uh, you know, 70 plus, 80 years old now. Um, so I'm not saying it's not a classic anymore. It's not worth having anymore. I'm saying when I see young kids kind of look at it like, eh, you know, when I see people in their 20s who watching after 20 minutes go, eh, yeah, the music's great, but <laughs> enough, enough. This is tedious. You know, they, they can't get into it. I just start to question, and I say, I don't believe that it's affecting my love of the film and how much some of my time period would love it and cherish it and have memories of it, as many of you do. I'm just saying maybe we need an upgrade. Maybe we need a remake. You know, something stunning, something visually just amazing, uh, with the same music, with the Beatles music in it, with, you know, put the little Beatles tag at the end, as I said earlier, keep them in it right at the end, do everything, same scenes, sea of holes, sea of monsters, uh, but can you imagine it with really stunning new technology in 2017, 2018 now? I think it could be amazing, I think it could pique people's interest in Yellow Submarine again, and the Beatles certainly, 
and I think maybe it's about time. I mean, uh, you know, there's been other classic movies that have been remade, some to success, some, let's face it, not to success. I, I admit that. And um, maybe somebody, people just don't want to mess with a, an old classic original like this, leave well enough alone. I understand that too. I'm not here to criticize it. As you know, I'm a fan. I love it. Okay, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm just putting this out there because, I've, like I said, I had a couple of incidents over the last couple of years and a few over the years where people just were not that into it. You know, they just, the, 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 I thought they were going to be amazed by it, and they weren't. And again, maybe that's just the individual and just they happen to be the people that I was showing the film to, and maybe there's others out there that would still love it to this day at age 10, 7, or 22, or whatever, you know. Uh, but I just thought I'd throw this out there, food for thought, is, you know, does Yellow Submarine need to be remade in a stunning new technological format that will just blow people's minds? I don't know. I think it may. Just want to see what you've all thought. So I hope you enjoyed this. Just my little thoughts for today. Take care from that. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.